Hello and welcome to today's Scarlet Scoop. I'm Amanda Vaughn here to bring you today's top stories. Ohio State football is known as the Scarlet and Gray, but next weekend the Buckeyes will show up in black. Nike released the news that OSU will sport black uniforms for the first time in history against Penn State. Along with the team's uniforms, Nike has released a retail line, including t-shirts, fan jerseys, hats, and footwear to go along with the special edition uniforms. The Ohio State men's hockey team is officially back in action and are taking on Bowling Green State University this weekend. The Buckeyes play at home on Friday and head to Bowling Green for Saturday's game. We caught up with head coach Steve Rollick and junior goaltender Matt Tompkins to get the scoop on how the team is preparing. I want to keep getting better and Friday's an opportunity against a very good hockey team here at home and you know we'll have a lot of new guys in the lineup but uh, you know, as a group, we want to go out and just become a better hockey team every time we step on the ice. I think definitely if there's a team that's, um, you know, going to do a little bit of upsetting, it's going to be us. Um, you know, I kind of see ourselves as a little bit of a dark horse. And if anything, you know, when the rankings came out, kind of used a little bit extra motivation for us. Um, you know, we, we don't look too much into it. It doesn't really mean anything to us. Nothing's set in stone. Um, you know, it's pretty much impossible to, to predict how things are going to shape up. So. If anything, just kind of a little, little bit of motivation for us, but I'm excited to get going. I think we're going to do a lot of upsetting this year, that's for sure. Now that it's midterm season, many students are feeling overwhelmed and stressed. In order to help alleviate some of those feelings, Ohio State's Counseling and Consultation Services has released a new app entitled OSU CCS. Features of the app include stress-reducing tools and the ability to schedule a counseling appointment. The goal of the app is to make the services of CCS better known across campus in order to help more students. For more information, visit thelantern.com and click on campus. This week, we've seen more warm temperatures and sunny weather. Meteorologist John Bangoff joins me now to tell me if we can expect this to continue or if we'll be seeing more fall-like weather this weekend. Amanda, good afternoon everyone for this weekend. Going to be pretty nice as we head into Saturday and Sunday, but for today, some showers moving through the area. I have about 72 degrees this morning. I do expect that temperature to drop through the afternoon. We've got a cold front moving through. Not too many widespread showers to speak of, but you're probably going to get it wet at some point. A chance for a stray rumble of thunder. Cloudy skies for the day, clearing out as we head through the evening, and the weekend looks to be beautiful for the Ohio State game tomorrow. High of 62 degrees for the afternoon. Crisp, it is a beautiful fall day. Going to be fairly chilly in the morning to start out. Out, but all in all, it should be a beautiful day. Dropping down to 44 degrees by Sunday morning, and then for the day on Sunday, even nicer. 72 degrees, not a cloud in the sky. Get out, enjoy the pumpkin pass, or head down to Hocking Hills for a hiking trip. I'm meteorologist John Banghoff, back to you in the studio. For an extended weather forecast, make sure to visit thelantern.com and click on Lantern TV. That's all for this episode of Scarlet Scoop. Make sure to tune in tomorrow for another new show. For more news updates, follow Lantern TV on Twitter and Instagram and like us on Facebook. We'll see you next time.